I had to retire. I couldn't play anymore. And, um, you know, when that happened, it was tough, but I've always loved the game of football. I love what this sport has given to me. I, I look back on my time and it's easy to say, woe is me. And I, you know, I, I miss out on all this money. I wish I could have played longer. And I, I feel all those things, but, uh, I've at the same time, I've also lived the dream that very few people get to live. I was a three time all American. I was a five. I got to do all those kind of things and have those relationships and those connections. And then, uh, got into coaching coach with Herm Edwards at Arizona state for uh, about two years was a tight ends coach. There was the youngest coach in the country when I was there yeah. as the, as the tight ends coach, our, our yeah. staff was Herm Edwards, Antonio Pierce, Marvin Lewis, um, a bunch of great ones in the, in the coaching world. And then, when I left Arizona State was really trying to figure out what I wanted to do next and saw this kind of gap in media and thought that there wasn't a great college football voice uh, that was talking about the game, breaking down the game. Uh, and I felt like I had unique credibility with all those experiences to talk about this great sport uh, and went all in on it on social media. And now it's evolved to, you know, content all over the platform with my podcast that you mentioned where I interview coaches and players. Um, and then I, I'm a broadcaster. I work for CBS and ESPN, call games on Saturdays, um, a bunch uh, among a bunch of other things. But uh, that that that's the that's the journey. It's it's on a mission now to be one of the you know premier faces and voices in in the game of college football. Well, you're on a fast track there. So fast. I mean, I've been following you, and, <laughs> and, and Coach D's been following you for a while as well. Um, you know, I enjoyed your interview with Halfley, but you've You've interviewed so many coaches, oh and, and, and that's one of the things that really intrigued us tremendously. Because obviously, we're always yeah. we're talking to coaches. That's like we've had them on from guys that are currently coaching to to guys who are long retired, and and, and let it spill. You know, let it all spill out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and uh, so it, it's it's really cool cool to have you on and, and talk about those experiences. Now, first of all, what what do you like better? Because like everybody everybody's in the podcast world now. 